Hello and welcome. I came across this great question on Open Middle, which is a great math website, and I'll link to it below so you can check it out. But basically the idea is to arrange the digits 1 through 9 into three three-digit whole numbers, and without repeating any digits, make the sum as close to a thousand as possible. So let me show you what I mean, um, or what this means, and what you can then do is pause the video and try this on your own. So this grid right here, notice we have um, these rows of numbers, right? They're each three digits. We're finding the sum, which means we're adding them, and we're trying to get as close to a thousand as possible. So just as an example, I can put in one, two, three. Now I can't repeat these digits once I've used them, so I can't use three or one or two again, and I'll keep going up until I reach nine. So if we add these up, nine plus six is fifteen, plus three is eighteen. Carry our one. Two plus five is seven, plus one is eight, and plus another eight is sixteen, right? And then four plus one plus one is six, plus seven is thirteen. So we've got thirteen hundred and sixty-eight. So this number is 368, right, away from 1,000. So you can now investigate this problem, try it out on your own, see how close you can get, and then resume the video and we'll talk about some strategies uh, together. Okay, so um, what are some strategies that we can use? Well, we notice here that in the, you might notice here that in this column, this is the hundreds column, and our goal is to get as close to a thousand as possible. So one thing you might realize right away is that you don't want to put the nine and eight and seven in this column. If you did that, and not, not even filling on the details of the tens and ones here, that would get you nine plus eight is seventeen, that's seventeen hundredths, plus another seven is twenty-four. So we bring you twenty-four hundred. This is fourteen hundred away from a thousand. So putting the big numbers in this column right here doesn't tend to help. Right, so what you might start to do then, right, is put those big numbers here in this ones column, because you don't want to go too far away from one thousand. Now, with that in mind, if you try to put the other digits in just using that one fact, let's see what happens here. You get eight plus seven is fifteen, right? Plus nine is twenty-four. Carry the two. Two plus two is four. Plus four again is eight. Plus six is fourteen. Carry the one. And then 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10. Notice we're a lot closer to 1,000. We're only 44 away. And you can continue to kind of jumble around the numbers, but what you might start to think is, okay, you know, can we get 1,000? Can we actually reach that number? And if the answer is yes or no, it doesn't really matter. The question is, well, then what's really close to 1,000? Can we reach that number? And I'm thinking there are two numbers that are right next to 1,000. One of them is 1,001, and the other is 999. So can we reach these numbers? Well, 1,001, I'm actually not sure if we can reach that. I've never actually gotten that number, and I'm curious if we can get it. Maybe we'll investigate that in another video. But can we get 999? Well, we want to start to think about, you know, how can we make this number, right? Can we get 999? And it turns out that, yes, there are lots of ways, right, lots of ways to get 999. Okay, so we're going to explore that in another video and think about it more in depth, but let's just look at some of them here. So what are some of the ways we can get to 999? Well, if we have a sum that gets us a 9 in the 1's column, that means we either get a 9 here or a 19, right? So let me show you what I mean. If I put a 9 here, a 6, and a 4, 9 plus 6 plus 4 is 19. So that would get us the 9 here, and this one would carry up. And now, if we want to get a 9 again, we could add to 18. Why 18? Well, if we put an 8 and a 7 and a 3 here, 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 3 is 18. If we have this 1 sitting up here, this little 1 that we carried over from the 1's column, 18 plus 1 is 19, and we get another 9 here again. So 8 plus 7 plus 3 is 19. We carry the 1 up here. And now we just need to get 8 in these three numbers here. And the numbers that we have left are 1, 2, and 5. And 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and we've got 999. Now once you have this, there are you can quickly find other ways of finding 999, and we'll explore more in future videos, by moving these numbers up and down in their columns. 
Don't shift the columns around, just move them up and down and see what happens. Think about why this still gets you 999. So for example, I can just put 5, 2, and 1 here. And even I leave all of the other numbers, the digits the same, 8, 7, 3, and 9, 6, 4. Now I have three new numbers, 589 plus 276 plus 134. But yet, if I put them together, I still get 999. So try that out and play with it. And then we'll talk about some other interesting spin-offs from this great problem. All right, thank you. Hope this helped.